Hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy July. We are here with Kim. She is one of our online members. Welcome, Kim. Congratulations. Little round of applause for being our member of the month for July. Um, thanks for joining us today. We just want to start off with if you can kind of just let everybody know a little bit about you, kind of whatever you're comfortable sharing, how long um, you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's, how did you find out about Rogue and anything that you'd like to share? Okay. Um, I'm a relatively new member at Rogue. I joined Rogue right after Christmas of this year. Um, I've been diagnosed about eight and a half years, had symptoms going long before that, probably had 15 or 20 years with no sense of smell. So I knew something was up. I just didn't know what. Yeah. Um, I, I learned about Rogue through Laurie Mishley, actually. Um, shortly cool. after I was diagnosed, I discovered Laurie online and was going to be in Seattle. I mean, live in Virginia, but I was going to be in Seattle in another several months. So I made an appointment, got to know Laurie. I think she's wonderful, of course. Started going to her summer camps and met Claire the first summer camp, which was the next year. Um, so I had known Claire and known about what was going on, but I was on the East Coast, didn't think there was anything much I could do about that. Um, so I, I kind of muddled along here on the East Coast. We didn't have lots of Parkinson's things. I moved to Virginia Beach from the Washington, D.C. area about three years ago. And I was still struggling with how to get the right kind of exercise going here. Um, and so I had a, a knee replaced last year, had some issues with, um, with recovering from the knee exercise and found that I really, really, really needed to do something to, to step up my exercise program. I, I went to exercise classes here. They weren't enough. I needed somebody who I thought would be the exercise equivalent of Laurie. And I discovered Claire again and said, oh my gosh, I could be an online member, but how would that work? And yeah. so I kept struggling to do things here and it just, it wasn't working for me because I wanted the science. I wanted the, the full, somebody who I felt like was really on top of it and could get me onto my game. And finally I decided, you know, it's worth a try um, because all last fall I was having issues recovering from the knee and, and just, I, I just felt like I could do better than I was doing. So when I joined Rogue kind of on a trial basis in early January, I discovered that it was what I had been looking for. Um, and that's how I became an online member. And I, my, my first call with Claire, I said, how do I get to know people? You know, I feel like I'm kind of sitting here in my house and I, I'm afraid to go live on any <laughs> classes. I'm afraid I can't do anything. I don't know what it's going to be like. And I don't want to feel like an outcast. So she told me to my surprise, she said, get on the classes where they're talking about your voice or go to cooking classes. I said, yeah. really? I'm going to get to know people. She said, absolutely. And she was so right, of course. Great. Um, yeah. So I got to become a friend with folks and I see people all the time now that I know. I'm doing some live classes. I do a lot of the recorded classes. I look at the news. It's just wonderful. It's my new home base for Parkinson's. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing all that, Kim. That's so great. I'm so happy you were able to connect with Lori and connect with Claire. That's amazing. Um, how are your knees feeling now? How's everything? My knees after? Great now. Yeah, I'm, good. My knees are doing fine. What I was really challenged by, I think, was not having a clear head. I had recover I had trouble recovering from the lack of exercise during the recovery. And I was just, I felt like I was foggy all the time. Mm -hmm. And the first time I got in one of your cardio classes and had to work my off to get the cardio up I thought I was going to sweat myself right off the bike and I said oh my gosh this is what they're expecting of me holy cow and what I found is that I felt so much better so what the, the first thing I learned about Rogue is it stepped up the requirements you know it's yeah. like, we're not going to baby you anymore here's the deal you know get your heart rate up <laughs> yeah. and you will you may suffer at the beginning but you will feel so much better and I got better and better because you folks made me do it. And it was just, I encourage anybody, you know, if you think you're doing a lot, get on Rogue's trial and see if you're really doing enough. Um, <laughs> I love it. I think it, it's just an amazing change to what I thought I could do to what I know I can do now and how much better it makes me feel. Oh, that's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. In the moment, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. You know, we're doing the workout with you. We're sweating. <laughs> you're saying, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Get your arms up. I'm like, I can't even hardly move. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I yell loud enough, you guys will get your arms up, right? <laughs> it's that great smile you have. I mean, you just, you are so encouraging. So many of you folks are so encouraging that I feel like it's okay if I can't do it, but if I can do it, it's wonderful. And you've got the science to back you up, which to me is amazing. I go to so many classes or see so many exercise programs for Parkinson's people where I think yeah. they're, they're down at this level and they really need to be up here somewhere. And it's shortchanging the people who aren't, who aren't working as hard as they 
could be. And if they could, I think it would make such a difference. Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for that. Sure. Um, what you. is <laughs> thank you? What is one success that you've had in the past couple months or in the past year um, from working with us, from exercising? Well, one of the things I've learned from working with you folks is to really focus on my heart rate. Um, the yeah. cardio is an, a, an important, measurable increment of how hard we're working, and I think that's really great. Um, Jimmy Choi is, is one of my heroes, um, and he was here at a gym, and I went to, to talk with him and watch him work out, and he was pushing his heart, saying, you know, you really need to be getting your heart rate up to, to 80% or so three times a week, at least, and that will make mm -hmm. such a difference, and, and I wasn't measuring my heart rate then. I had an Apple Watch, but I wasn't really looking at it, Yeah. so I started working with you guys and thinking about what Jimmy said. I started really monitoring my heart rate as I went through all of this using a couple of apps, one built-in health app and another one called HeartWatch that allows me to track for each workout exactly how, what zones I was working in, how I compared to before, what my rest was afterwards, just all these details. And it helped me to measure what I was doing and to push myself specifically. So if I didn't think I was working hard enough, I'd look at my watch and say, okay, maybe, maybe a little harder or maybe a little bit less hard yeah. and rest a little bit more. But you really gave me the science and the numbers to back myself up and to push myself. And that's been a huge change and a huge improvement. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really great to see the data right there on your phone, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. And it sees maybe on some days when you're not feeling the best and you look at it, wow, I was, you know, in that 80% of my heart rate max right. for this long, you know, and everything like that. So that is really great that you're able to yeah. have that at home too. I, yeah. I think numbers make a big difference and they help you to check yourself. And if, if yeah. you wake up in the morning and you see in your heart rate variability, is really off, then you know that you might not have as good a day. And that's okay because you kind of understand where it's coming from. Or you can check your sleep hours. It just all feeds on itself and helps you to become a better a better Parkinson's patient. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, to visually see something like that is great exactly. for sure. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. What would you say motivates you to exercise, Kim? What helps you come to class every time? <laughs> um, how I'm going to feel if I don't. Yeah. So that's the thing for me. I find that if I don't exercise, I am foggy headed. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I feel miserable. But if I can make myself get on the bike or make myself do um, a boxing class, which, by the way, is a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. Just yeah. thanks very much. Um, I thought that, you know, cardio has got to be the hardest. Boy, did I take one of your boxing classes and find out that that wasn't true. Um, <laughs> yeah. But but I find that if I don't work out, I, I tend to feel not nearly so well. If I do work out, even though I may not feel like it going into it, I feel so much better on the other side of the workout. And that makes a, a huge difference. It, it's kind of counterintuitive until you've done it a while. Or if I go away for vacation, I went away for five days, I came back and I hadn't had really had a good access to, to work out with you guys. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to die from the stress. As soon as I got home and started resting and working out, made all the difference in the world. So it's really what I don't, what happens to me if I don't work out yeah. to get me back. Great. And yeah, just extra, starting your day off with, you know, exercising, whether live or with recorded, that really sets up your whole rest of your day. That's awesome. Right. And Would I have you... to tell you, I love, the, I love the fact that you guys are on available on video too, yeah. because I have to drive 45 minutes or an hour to get to a gym and get out and get in and get in mm -hmm. and exercise and then come home. That takes a huge chunk of my time. Definitely. But if I'm working with you guys, then I find that you know, if I'm doing a video, there's something I know may come up does, I can stop it. I can come back later. I can, it's just, that's wonderfully flexible, but I still feel like, you know, me, I did the assessment uh, early on. So I know what I'm working on now. And I know I've got another assessment coming up. I feel like I know so many of you folks that I don't feel left out. And that's a great thing. That's amazing. Yeah. And if you ever wanted to kind of go through that assessment with us or anything, or if there was something that came up new that, you know, I'm really struggling with you know, my balance or whatever it may be, you can always set up, you know, video chat with one of the PTs here or with Claire right. and have, have that discussion with us. We'd always love to chat with you, Kim. I've, I've, I've learned that. I, mean, I feel like I know you all and I don't know how you, how many you get any sleep because I know you guys must work <laughs> all the time. Like you're always doing such great stuff and your files are great too. I love the speakers. I love the newsletter. Oh, um, I love the cooking classes. I mean, you seem to cover everything, which is yeah, wonderful. You, I mean, you're covering it all. You are doing it all. That's for sure. Do you, so you do both online, like in person and um, live classes as well as recorded classes. I do. Correct? Yeah, yeah. I, do, I do them both. I find there's a really good time for, for both of them. Um, and I also like the things where people talk and get to know each other. For example, when you do the cooking class it's, or the, the voice class, it seems like the first 15 minutes is people just talking with each other. Yeah, which is definitely. For like sure. I know those folks. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. We love, I mean, something that's so unique about us, right. Is that social aspect, that community that we are so big on. I think that's a really great thing with Rogue is you're chatting with people who are going through very similar things that you may be going through or something that's different. And you know, they're like, I tried this, like maybe try this for you. Like, this might work, things like that. So it's really great because we can tell you so many things, but um, someone who's actually, you know, going through Parkinson's with you and being able to right. chat with them is great for sure. That's so important for people who are in a place where they don't have people around them live, you know, live yeah. Parkinson's friends. Um, I find that it makes a big, big difference. I see people, for example, from England on some of the calls with Laurie or with Claire, or I know that I can call and Claire will say, hi, Kim, how are you? This is like amazing. So you have that social aspect without having to to just do things on your own, watching a video, then you don't feel like you know people. I mean, yeah. I, I now know who I'm going to, well, what it's going to be like if I get one of your classes or somebody else's yeah. classes or Claire's classes. And it, it, it's really nice to feel like I'm a member of the group. That's so amazing. That. Yeah, of course. Thank you. What would you say is one thing you couldn't do before you started exercising and now you can do? I can work harder. Okay. I, can, I can get my heart rate up higher and do more than I used to be able to do, which is important. And yeah. I also have expectations of myself that are harder. I mean, when I first saw the exercise of the month this month with the side plank with the, oh my God, said, <laughs> you, you got to freaking be kidding me. I'm supposed to be able to do that. I couldn't do that before I had Parkinson's. So I love that part. I can I can ex, I can expect more of myself than I could before because of, of your challenging me. And I also feel like I can do more, but still have more to do. And that's a great thing. That's amazing. Yeah, definitely not exercise the month. It is hard for sure. It is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's everyone online and then also our members in person have all said, oh my gosh, this is a hard one for sure. But that's great. Yeah, we are here to motivate you. We're here to challenge you most importantly right. because we right. know your guys' capabilities everything so sometimes if you guys don't believe in yourself that's what we're here to do to believe in you guys that's great um one last thing I know you've been super encouraging and kind of already spreading kind of some of your words of wisdom but if is there anything else that any words of wisdom or encouragement motivation that you would like um someone else that has Parkinson's or just recently diagnosed with Parkinson's that you'd like to share yeah a couple of things um I think that frequently people who are first diagnosed don't know much about Parkinson's because it's very complicated and their yeah. doctors don't tell them much. And that really, really frustrates me because they end up kind of being told you're on a honeymoon period, just go away and live your life and come back when you start really having problems. And I, I think that short changes the folks who are newly diagnosed or anybody mm -hmm. with Parkinson's. I think people, the more people with Parkinson's can understand what's happening and can understand the opportunity perhaps to slow down the progression or to understand the progression is truly going to happen. And there are things they can do about that. That is a tremendous gift. And so I think doctors and friends and other people with Parkinson's who are in a position to, to work with someone can share that. And the, to understand earlier rather than later that exercise is not only important, but possible and makes such a difference because um, that time is, is valuable and it's a good time to learn how to do it. That is great. Well, thank you so much, Kim. That is all the questions that I have for you. Thank you so much for joining in. And again, congratulations on being our July member of the month. Well, thank you, Maddie. I'm going to go exercise now. Yeah, we love I'll see you in class then. That's for okay. sure. Yes, <laughs> all right, sir. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.